Hello again friends and welcome back to another keyboard build video. The plan for today is to transform my Gamma K K87 into a bee themed keyboard. Here's what it currently sounds like. I picked up some Gazoo Boba U4T tactile switches from a local store called Custom KDD. I picked these because I really wanted to try some of the tactile switches, but also I thought the white and yellow color scheme matched the keycaps that I got to make this little B keyboard, and I thought that they look good together. They are described as a tactile switch with a medium range bump, have opaque tops, a 5 pin housing, and a 62 gram spring. These in comparison to my current switches are quite different. The C3 Fear Scale switch is linear and has a 58.5 gram spring. They come slightly pre-lubed in factory, however the ones on my board have been both lubed and filmed. As you can see they are both 5 pin switches but the housings are quite different. I thought I'd do an inboard sound comparison for you guys as I was quite curious as to what it would be like and if you could tell the difference. Thankfully this board is a hot swap board so this is actually really easy to do. And here's the comparison. To remove all the switches, I'm going to be using the Ramawerk Switch Puller XO number 2. What I didn't realize at the time is that this switch puller is actually faulty and only one of the sides is curved when both are meant to be curved. I'm definitely going to look into getting another switch puller, so if you have any recommendations, please let me know. On another note, how cute is my new keycap puller? I love it. And now it's keycap removal time. Now 50% quicker since I've had significantly more practice. As you can see as I remove the keycaps, these switches have previously been both looped and filmed. Which gives them a significantly nicer sound in my opinion. I've asked questions about switches before in terms of which is your favourite, but I'm curious, do you prefer tactile or linear switches? Let me know. Now the keycaps are gone, it's time to move on to the switches. Now, as I previously mentioned, it turned out that my switch puller was actually broken, so this was a lot more time consuming than it should have been. So I have spared you of my very long struggle and skipped forward a little bit for this one. And now for the new boba switches. Putting in switches can be a little bit finicky, but it's best not to force them into any of the spots. Make sure the metal pins at the bottom aren't bent if you're having any issues. I always like to check to make sure all of the switches are pushed in properly before I go and put the keycaps on. Now we have the long awaited B keycaps. I picked these ones up on AliExpress, they're actually really really nice quality, I love the colour scheme, they're made out of PBS and an XDA profile, and all of the extra caps are really cute. I picked these caps up specifically because a while back when I got into keyboards a few months ago, I told one of my friends that I would make a B-movie script typing video and I am holding up my end of the bargain here and I thought it would be perfect to have a B-themed keyboard to go with that.
While you're watching me put the keycaps on, I thought again I'd ask you another question. If you could design any keycap set, what profile and color scheme would you choose? I definitely want something that had both pink and white in it, but I'm not sure what I would go with for novelties, maybe something gaming related. I wonder if there's an e-girl keycap set that already exists. Let me know what you would choose. One thing I really liked about this specific keycap set is that it's really well printed and it's really nice quality. The plastic is quite thick and also especially the arrow keys actually printed in the center while I found a lot of keycaps they tend to print the arrow keys like slightly to one side so I really like that. And now the B keyboard is finally complete. I would say it's unbelievable how much I like this keyboard. What do you think? Would you use this one? Here is another sound test so you can compare it to earlier. I definitely think I prefer the linear switches over the tactile, but let me know what you think. As I mentioned before, I'll have a 30 minute typing video coming out soon if you want to hear what this sounds like and watch me in pain typing out the B-movie script, but also you get to hear this on my better microphone. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Thank you for watching.